Hello everybody, welcome to Zappa Invest. Today I'm going to review the Hero Banking, it's a European broker, but before we start, can you please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment about your thoughts and opinions about the video, and let's start. The Hero is not a free brokerage, so let's jump in the fees, that's one of the most important things in my opinion. The fees are, I do have to say one thing, I'm currently on the UK website to show you everything in the English language. If you buy £1,000 worth of Tesco stocks, you pay a fee on the Hero Banking of £2. That's something like €2.10. We can see on other brokerage you pay a lot more. It goes from £6 to £12.5, so from €6.50 to almost €14. Euros. The most important thing in my opinion is the American market. We can see if you buy 5,000 pounds or let's say 6,000 euros worth of Tesla, you pay a fee of a half a pound or almost 70 cents. On other brokerage accounts, we can see this amount goes up to 58 pounds. So let's say under 70 euros. That's crazy a lot in my opinion. So that's why I've chosen for the hero banking. Let's say you want to make an account, you click on this button, you fill in your email address, your username, your passport, very easy in my opinion. They will have you, uh, ask you more questions like your identity cards, what you do for your work, what's your experience in the market, but it takes like 10 to 15 minutes. Once you did that, you will come on this screen. Uh, this is the home page where you can see all the markets. So let's say the Belgian market, European market, American market, uh, your wallet. Here you can look up some companies. So let's say you want to look up uh, Apple. Uh, that's a company well known. You can see the graphic on the year to year base, three year base, five year base, some little information. But let's say your portfolio and you want to buy a stock. You come over here, you press, let's say you want to buy Apple, you go on there and then you will see, you click on it, you will see two buttons, a green one and a red one. The green one is to buy and the red one is to sell. So let's say you want to buy one Apple share. Okay, so you can ask, how much does it cost me? I mean, it's in dollars and I want to have it in euros. Go easy, we're going through everything. Okay, let's say Apple is currently sitting at $289.80. You want to buy it at, so the limit order is $289.81. Uh, so now you're saying, I want to buy one, I uh, want to buy a share of Apple worth of $289.81. So you're charging, uh, asking, uh, giving a little bit more than it currently is, but you're fine with that because you want to be a shareholder. Let's say you want to buy one piece, that means the amount in euros, so your currency you will pay 259 euros. You put push on this button, then they will show you how much it is in fees, and then you push the other button, and then you are finished. Let's say you want to see, okay, where can I see my shares? You go on your portfolio, you click on it, uh, you go on your portfolio and you'll see, oh, okay, Apple is in my portfolio or wallet. You can see currently I have four shares of Apple worth totally 1,044 euros. My average buying was 143 euros and I'm totally up with 81%, around 468 euros. Let's say you want to sell a stock. Okay, no problem. You go to your wallet over here. You, let's say you want to sell a share of Apple. You press the red button, that means sell. You can see a small screen pops up over here. And then again, okay, Apple is sitting at 261 euros. At how much you want to sell it? Mm, I want to sell it at 262 euros. So that means from the moment somebody want to buy one share of apple at 262 euros you will they will buy it so you want to share uh, you want to sell one share you will have 262 euros because that's your ask price and you put 
on the blue button then again you will see fees because you do have to know you have fees to sell and buy and once you sell it you can see the amount in cash in your portfolio increasing if you want to take a look how much you have in total you press on this button you can see personally i'm up 1325 euros yeah. um, so let's uh, go through my portfolio real quick last month i bought avi for like around 87 dollars i'm currently only at one percent but i bought it for the dividends Apple we just talked about, Alibaba I also bought last month, I'm currently at 15% and 39%. Altria, I just received some really nice dividends of Altria, I, I'm not received yet, but I'm already approved it. Um, I bought it around for $45, uh, currently up 10%. Facebook, one of my favorite stocks overall, 30% up, currently worth 1,117 euros, so a pretty big amount of my portfolio because I have an under 8,000 worth of my total net in my stocks. Uh, my spec stocks of this year is uh, MongoDB. They have so much potential. I'm already up 2% with this company, I'm almost 2%. PayPal. PayPal is worth 98 uh, euros at the moment and I'm up with 36%. That means I bought it at 71 euros. My other uh, dividend company I'm never gonna sell is PepsiCo. PepsiCo is one that I bought last or last two months two months ago or something. I'm up one and a half percent for this one. Southern Co Southern Company is one of that I'm going to add heavily this year. Uh, I'm currently up three and uh, point seven percent, but it's the smallest position of my portfolio. So that's why I want to increase it times three, I think, or times four even. Then my stack, spec stock of the start of the, my portfolio was Tesla. And Tesla is now my biggest position with my biggest gain in money, 452 euros. Then waste management is one that I have much love for it because it's such a, a, a green company. Uh, I'm currently down, but it's all fine. I'm getting some nice dividends of them and I see much potential in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a very nice day. If, if possible, please subscribe. If you watch the whole video, just subscribe for more content. Thank you.